this. So I was gonna originally do Beast Wars Megatron, but uh, the world is against me right now, and they don't and they don't want to review Beast Wars Megatron for some reason. So sorry, I was gonna review that guy, but no, I'm reviewing Astro Train instead. One because he won't stand every time they're recording, some some loud noise happens, or every t or something stupid like that. So yeah, I'm reviewing G1 Astro Train instead because the world's against me right now, and they won't don't want to review uh, G1, well, not G1, but Beast Wars Megatron Kingdom. Don't know why though. I should just review the Black React here. Yeah. That's fine though. I'm gonna do Astro Train, G1 Astro Train instead because I like G1 Astro Train. All right. So uh, if you've seen G1 toys, you kind of know they're basically bricks. His articulation, his arms are on ball joints. So they can kind of move up and down like that. And they kind of turn, and they can pull it down like that. His gun, it's kind of to, it kind of has to be at an angle, be pointing straight. Yes, his gun is almost as big as him. So yeah, that's a, yeah, that's something. I'm gonna put the gun. Let me look at the gun real quick. Maybe I should review Siege Astro Train. Yeah, it's too late now. Who cares? I mean, I do like how the gun looks. It is very nice and very Astro Train like, I swear. He yells one more time. Sorry, guys. If you hear any background noise. Oh my god. Alright, guys. Sorry for cutting out there. I had to pause the camera because there was uh, a lot of background noise happening, so I gave it a second. And now we're back. Yeah, alright, so let's, I'm gonna keep this real quick because, uh, I can't record any, for some reason today because, uh, everybody just decided to be loud right now as soon as I started recording. But, uh, that's fine with me, I guess. So let's keep this quick, shall we? Alright, to convert into train mode, we take the arms, we bring them out like this, we put them down. Also, mine's a little weird, mine's a little, I don't know if this is going through all your trains, but mine likes to, mine, mine's legs like to give out on me. I don't know he's not gonna do it because the camera's on, because, uh, yeah. Of course, he's not going to do it when the camera's on. It always happens to transform reviewers. Okay, what now? We, we hold this up like this, and we slide it down like that, and bam. Like that. And we take the uh, we take these, and we fold them up like that. Put them around. We take this booster, put it up like that. Put them like that. The legs will come together like that. Alright guys, sorry I had to cut the camera again. Because of the background noise. God. Alright, so, where was I? Alright, so we're almost transformed here. We just bring down this panel like that, and we bring down the, the train part like that. Same goes for the other side. Like that, and like that. Oh my god. There's the train. Very nice train mode, I know. Very nice. I do like how after train the train looks. It looks nice. The train, a nice train. Very metallic. Also, if you're wondering where all the die cast metal is on this guy, it is all my. G again, I've cut it out again. Okay, sorry guys. Just still the background noise today. I just can't do a review for some reason. I might, I might not even post this video. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm gonna anyway, cause I'm just that way. All right. So if you're wondering where all the die cast metal is on the actual train. It's just all this whole entire black, just black piece of the metal, die cast metal. All right, to get to also he rolls, he rolls really well. There he is, he's rolling. He rolls pretty well. As rolling things should, as the train should, he rolls. Flip, okay, now we flip them over like that, and we uh, bring down these, and we flip these back up, and we flip them like that, like this. We open it up. We bring out now mine one side will open up a lot more than the other for some reason. We just bring it no cone and flip down like that. We'll close it up. I'll put the wings like this. Open this up real quick. Bring out this. Close this back up. And bring this forward. No weapon storage for any vehicle. Now if there's shuttle mode. We'll just like the train. It rolls. Not as well though. It rolls pretty well actually. I mean, it's a nice little shuttle, I'll be honest, it's a nice little, little, little shuttle, it's a nice shuttle, alright, so I'm gonna cut the, uh, actually I'm not gonna cut the camera, I'm just gonna transform back into robot mode, there's no point to cut the camera when you're dealing with a G1 figure like this, usually I just cut the camera and bring the robot mode, but nope, I'm just gonna transform real quick, and uh, I guess convert back to robot mode, uh, just flip back in the nose cone, take the legs and 
pull them out. Also make sure to untag the leg real quick and then pull them out. Like that. Then I'm gonna open up and I tab this. Like that. Everything's not working with mouth today. It's nice the background noise finally stopped and I can finally record the video in peace and quiet. Sorry guys. Like that. And like that. And like that, like that, bam. And, oh, come on. Alright. There we go. Robot mode. Alright, just to get this video up to at least a little longer, I guess I'll review another figure along with Astro Train. So let's put Astro Train in the background there. There he is. Did I do a review on the G1 Star Scream? Eh, it doesn't matter. Alright, we're also going to be reviewing today G1 Star Stream, because why not? Why not? Uh, through Decepticons 1 video, there's G1 Star Scream. We, it's the reissue G1 Star Scream, so he comes with Megatron here. Ah, I dropped Megatron. He comes, here's Megatron. He comes with G1 Megatron here. Here's G1 Megatron. Very nice, very nice, very shiny. Very tough. And basically, since this is the reissue version, he has holes in the fists, which uh, Star Scream usually does not have. And basically, he has a special little peg on the bottom that you, where you would just, uh, like that, and just plug it in. And there, he's holding Megatron now. There he goes, he's holding Megatron. There he is, holding, holding Geo Megatron. Man, this video is going, this, why is this review going way better? It's almost like the world longer review G1 Star Ice Cream for some reason. Alright. To some gimmicks. Now, uh. He's spring-loaded, but he's the, I'm going to guess the springs aren't as powerful. Oh, good. I have a target here. Got an actual train in the back. Got an actual train if I actually hit it. Uh, actually, just going to shoot the stretch ground. So, basically, you press it and it shoots them there. Shot them both at Mixmaster. Yeah, that's good. And uh, basically, here is no worries. I do have his engine pieces, but they're too long and they look dumb when they're plugged in. So, yeah. They're the no rays. Put them off the side. Now this guy's a part former for transformation. So yeah, these engines, they pop off. Here are the engines. Get them out of here. Take these hands, pop them off. Put them off to the side. Get them out of here. Take these, flip them up, flip them down like this. Also, uh, die cast. This whole red piece is die cast. Flip this up, uh, flip this up, uh, flip this nose cone, undo that, and flip it all around like that, and then bam, like that. Go back here, take these arms up, bring the arms up, bam, flip them like that, and flip them like that. And then shove down, and then bam. There's Starscream's jet mode. Also, pop, piece popped off. Sorry if I didn't talk about that whole transformation. I kind of explained it. I'm just kind of a little, little not it's a little mad right now, guys. Sorry. Also, to get I also also I store his landing gear in the cockpit. So that's where I store his landing gear. You can also, landing the landing gear is going to plug in. Going to plug in right there, and then there, there's jet mode. There's jet mode sitting there. Starscream's jet mode. Uh, yes, you can also plug in the uh, the engines or the null ray. Null ray. I don't know. You can plug the null rays under the wings. So uh, you can do a bam, and you can do a bam. Two null rays plugged in under the wings. There you go. There's the null rays plugged in. And then you flip them over and uh, he rolls. He rolls pretty well for a jet. He rolls pretty well for a jet. Okay, Star Scream in jet mode. And, uh, okay, I'm going to transform this guy real quick and then I'm going to end the review. Okay. I'm a little mad right now. A little tired. Not tired, but just mad. A little frustrated right now because just all the background noise. Oh, and the background noise. I really gotta get, like, better sound dampening or something. God, I'm sorry if you could hear any screaming in the background. 
Sorry, you guys, but I'm sounding a little pissed off right now. I'm a little angry. Just had everybody screaming in the house for some reason. I don't know why. Shot. Oh, God. Oh, I'm just tired. I'm angry right now, guys. I'm a little mad right now because of all the background noise. I'm sorry. Everybody just screaming. Everybody just yelling and stuff. It's the, it's sometimes, man. Just can't do a nice, good review. I do my reviews around 6, eight, 6 in the morning. This is why I always post around 6 and not in the afternoon when everybody's screaming. Because everybody's asleep in my house for some reason in the, in the morning. Like, early in the morning. Because everybody's asleep around, like, 5, like, 6 to, to, like, 12 or something like that. Not 12, but 6 to, like, 1. And it's nice, and it's quiet, and cars always zoom by my room. My window. Alright, guys, I'm sorry. I sound a little pissed off, a little flustered right now. Just a little mad. Alright, here's Starscream and Astro Train's the Astro Train. For, sorry for the random Starscream review as well, and the Astro Train review, but uh, that was my review on the Starscream and Astro Train. Uh, I'm sorry if it's a little, this video is a little weird. I'm a little mad right now. I was going to review Beast Wars Megatron or Black Arachnia. But the world didn't want me to review any Beast Wars toys today, it seemed like. So let me review these two G1 toys, which is fine. Alright. If you can find these two, I don't know. Pick them up, I guess. They're nice. They're G1. They're, but these are the reissue version, so they're not the original. Okay. Alright, guys. Uh, this is Skyrock Studio signing off. See ya. See ya next time.